Hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole, and in today's video, we're going to talk about some weird and fun facts about your girl. So, I feel like you guys don't know me well enough, so I picked out a couple of facts that some of you always ask me, and I picked out some weird ones about me. So, hopefully, this video gets you guys to know me a little bit better. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Am I Jamaican? <sighs> Yes, but I am Jamaican descent. I was born and raised in Queens, New York. I am not from Brooklyn. I used to hang out in Brooklyn. You guys get that misconstrued with one of my story times. But I am not from Brooklyn. I am from Queens, okay? And another fact that goes along with this is that even though I am Jamaican descent and I grew up in a Jamaican household, I don't like curry. Don't give me nothing curry, but come in, I like it. Don't give me no curry shrimp. Don't give me no curry chicken. Don't curry no goats. Don't even curry no fish. I'm in a very air curry fish, but don't want it. Don't give me no fish, no nothing. With no curry panic, but come in, I eat it. See? The thing about me is that I love music. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I'm usually listening to music all the time when I'm driving, when I am in the shower, when I'm mad, sad, happy. It does not matter. Music just brings me to a place of happiness, so I just, music is my drug. Still in the music category, another fun fact is that I love Vibes Cartel, Rihanna, and Erica Badu. All of their personalities is just this I don't give a fuck kind of personality. They do what they want, they're all very creative, and they just have these beautiful minds so i'm obsessed with them as far as like being idols to me even though i'm so no so pop um me no se vas cartel i got like something and i'm ed me no so i'm crazy it doesn't matter i still love him as an artist i don't know about him as a person but as an artist i love him this is fact number three um my dream job was to work in the music industry so when i was graduating from high school I was trying to figure out what I wanted to go to school for. At first it was psychology and then it was to go to school for music. So in my mind and in my heart, I wanted to go to school for music just because I knew I loved music so much. But um, basically something I was told um, by someone that worked in the music industry, it kind of pushed me away from doing it um, because the line of work I wanted to do in the music industry, women are not um, really very well respected unless they're already up there. So it was really hard. I did not want to, you know, record music. I don't sing. I don't rap. I wanted to be behind the scenes somewhere like a producer, a and R, you know, those type of things. Um, but yeah. Next number four. I fear a lot of things, but my biggest fears are. Um, animals it's just, i don't know animals and me especially cats um cats i just don't trust them i don't really fear them that much i just don't trust them like i don't want them close to me but i fear squirrels okay it's just something about them squirrels man i just i can't do it if you guys hear anything um my neighbors have a dog she's really hyper I'm not really gonna do it because I like dogs. But I fear clowns. It stems from my childhood. Um, it was just like a trip to. I forgot where I went, but I know I was with one with my brother, one of my brothers, and it was just. From then, I just I feared clowns. Um, fucking dog. Fact number five. I did go to college, guys. Um. And I felt like I went to college to make my mother happy because that was her plan. You know, she wanted me to go to college. Her, the words they always told me growing up was to go to college and become something amazing, like a nurse or a doctor. And um, I went to school and I decided to go to school for psychology, but I honestly hated going to school, completely hated going to school. Um, I don't know if it was because I felt like I was already an artist because in my head I didn't know who I was, of course, because I'm like 18, 19, but I guess naturally because I was an artist and I didn't know it, I um, decided that I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go to school. I hated school. Um, I just literally just stopped going to class. I literally just dropped out of college. And number six, I don't know if this is the right number. I did not count. Um, I don't know where I'm at. 
So if it's six or seven, whatever. Um, but fact number six or seven, I do not accept. Okay, this is a weird fact. Okay, and this is a petty fact, but it's fact. I do not accept birthday wishes before 12.08 a.m. So if my, my birthday is on June 2nd, if you guys do not know, I'm a Gemini. My birthday is on June 2nd. And the day I was born, the year I was born on that day, I was born at 12.08 a.m. So anybody that wishes me happy birthday at 12 o'clock, your birthday wish is null and void, okay? I was born at 12.08. 12.08, I came into this world and bless you guys with my presence. So you should not disrespect me and wish me happy birthday at 12 o'clock. I still wasn't born yet. My mom was still working on getting me out. So 12.08 at June, on June 2nd, I will be 26. Okay, not 12.01, not 12.02, 12.08. One fact um, that I kind of kept to myself, I've never really told anybody this, but all four years of my, of me going to high school, I was cyber bullied, like, almost every day. <laughs> It was probably like I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing. But I was I was cyber bullied a lot um, in high school, um, and I think that's why YouTube comments get to me, and I tend to want to just quit YouTube because people are just so mean, and people tend to hide behind a computer to um, hurt your feelings, and I just. It's just something I guess because I've dealt with it for so long I've, I've never I didn't want to deal with it and I knew coming on YouTube would um, trigger that but I mean you gotta fight your battles and you gotta get through your problems and I feel like me being on YouTube is helping me to learn how to ignore people um, who don't agree with who I am and at the end of the day I am who I am and I'm not on earth to please anyone. God put me on this earth to become someone and to help people. And if YouTube is my way of helping people and my personality and my lessons is what I'm on this earth to put, um, what God put me on this earth to do, then I'm gonna do it. And I'm on YouTube. I'm not quitting anytime soon. So if anybody don't like me, <laughs> whatever. Um, because of cyberbullying, um, as I've gotten older, when people tend to come for me, I'm always snapping back. Like, I cannot help it. So, like, if you talk about me, I'm going to hit you in the jugular and I'm going to talk about your mother or whoever raised you. That's where I'm going to hit you at. I'm going to hurt your feelings. You trying to hurt mine, I'm going to hurt you. That's just how I work. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get over that and become a better person. But if you talk about me, I'm going to talk about your mother. Is what it is. I want to talk about your mama just because she raised you. She raised you to be this disgusting person. And I'm mad at her. Because all of this could have been avoided. And um, last but not least, um, I love, this is not like a big thing, but I just love popping my pimples. Like as soon as I get a pimple, I'm attacking it with my fingers, with my nails. I'm popping them and then I attack them with skincare products. Don't follow me guys, okay? That's just a bad habit I have. So yeah, this is a really bad habit I have and I don't think anybody should follow that habit because I feel like if I don't do that, my skin would be a lot clearer than it actually is. Also, everybody always asks why I have acrylics on my nails. If I don't, I'm going to bite my nails the hell off. So to avoid me biting my nails all the time, I make sure my nails is wrapped in acrylic. And I know they say acrylic is not good for your nails, but it's just the best way for me to not bite my nails because I know biting my nails can help. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Write in the comments down below what is a weird or fun fact about you. I would love to see them because I know I'm like, I don't have that many bad things about me, but I do have a couple weird things. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias and I'll see you guys in my next video.